But these guys are the ones, Mr. McGuire is going to talk, and I've got Shirley Mosley, but Mr. McGuire is very familiar with the workings of the city of Ottawa, the procurement, and everything that goes in there. So I'm going to get him to talk. Or, or, I'll, 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 here, here, Shirley. Let's yeah. let Shirley in here. Shirley Mosley. Shirley, let's hear. You know, Shirley's the, uh, she's the uh, CFRB, CFRA babe. babe. <laughs> You know, the first time I ever met, I'm going to tell this real quick story because I tell it everywhere I go. I met uh, Shirley. I was uh, at the uh, hospital in Cornwall when they uh, were fooling around with the bilingual. You couldn't be, uh, you couldn't get a job there unless you were bilingual. And I remember I always heard Shirley Mosley. And uh, I went there with uh, a buddy of mine and uh, I was talking to somebody and I heard this voice behind me. And I always thought Shirley Mosley was this great big thing that just kicked the shit right out of me as she could. And I looked over there and she's like this tall and I thought, holy mackerel. But Shirley husband, Lyle, was a, a, a true blue trucker for the uh, in the association in the city of Ottawa. She's got a lot of passion. She fights like the devil for us, for our rights. So I'm going to turn off the mic. It's a pleasure to have her speak. Well, I am Shirley Mosley. And first and foremost, we must make fairness is a two-way street. Be a voice, a big voice. We are so fortunate at this stage this year, we have a provincial election, and we must hold the elected uh, MPPs accountable. We must go to every and each, each and every, sorry, candidate that is running and make them make this one of the top, top, number one election issues. We must contact Tim Huda and make him very aware that the million dollar jobs includes all you guys out there. So this bill, whatever they might call it, was the past Bill 17. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue on. Because back in 1999, and I want you all to know, my son is here today, he helped yeah. Jim Flaherty, Michael Harris, the late, the late Jim Flaherty, sorry, John Baird, and Tony Clement passed Bill 17 until Dalton McGinty in 206, along with our current mayor, Jim Watson, who was MPP for Ottawa West Nepine, repealed the bill, laughing all the way to the bedside of Josh Charre. We must, we must go after this bill to be reinstated under whatever number it might be. And let me tell you guys, Jim Watson is the biggest part of this happening. As I told Ron all week, we can never sleep with the enemy. And let me inform you, and you can put it in black and white, Jim Watson, the mayor of Ottawa, is not our friend. He is our enemy. And I want to hear the truckers. And I'm going to tell you, back in 1999, along with several MPs, we did block the bridges. We blocked the bridges, the EB Eddy Bridge, the Shawnee Falls Bridge, whatever the hell bridge it was. We blocked it from there right down to City Hall. And can anybody here tell us who the mayor was at that time? Jimmy Jimmy Watson. Watson. And here we are, 10 years later, still fighting Jimmy Watson. You go to City Hall, he's all gobbledygook in your face. But behind your back, I tell you, he is a liberal out and out. He will do nothing for us unless we fight him and fight him. So I would only suggest after today, we don't let our guard down because he'll tell you what you want to hear. And I know this is not a municipal election, but he's a damn big part of the provincial election. The next time we'll block all the Quebec bridges in the downtown area. We'll block streets, Jimmy's choo-choo train streets, where he blocks our traffic every day. So anyways, I just hope that with this is only the first of many till October. But get behind the PC candidates and the MPPs and tell them we will make fairness in this city a two-way street or we'll know for why. Thank you. Jesus, hurt me. I'm going to have Mr. McGuire talking. I want her back up. Holy 